Hey folks, here I am with another episode of my automated gardener hobby project. If you are new here, hi, I'm Tommy Mester, and this is a hobby project of mine where I use a Raspberry Pi to automatically grow strawberries. And I write mainly Python scripts for that. I also document the full project and I share the process in video format, of course. So this is sort of a tutorial too. And I also share the code base on GitHub. And in this episode, I will show you how I did the Raspberry camera. This guy here that I will use to optimize the plant growth with deep learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I will just want to create cool time-lapse videos. Anyways, I will show you how you can set up a Raspberry camera and let's dig in. Okay, so the first thing is that the camera comes without a case or tripod. So I ordered some of these and I already put the camera into the case. So if you don't mind, I won't show you that process. The first sort of technical step is wiring the camera though to the Raspberry Pi, which is pretty easy because there is a dedicated port for that. Anyways, let me mention that when I learned how to use the Raspberry camera, I watched and read multiple tutorial articles and videos. Some of the best will be linked below this video, just in case. But back to the port. So all you have to do is to plug your camera cable into the port. First, open the port here. So this is the port. Open it, pull it up, and you can plug this in two ways, right? So here, this way, or this way, but only one of these will work. Namely, the one where this little blue thingy at the end faces the USB ports. This way. Okay, push back the port down like this and the camera cable is fixed to the port and that's the hardware part done i will show you this from an other angle so there it is oh and one more thing and that's a quite important one that obviously during the whole process the raspberry pi was turned off so it wasn't under electricity i will plug it in now so i will turn it on and it's on okay i'm back to my computer and the next step is to install the software part of the camera and it's also not too hard because actually you don't have to install anything well Probably only if you have already done the previous steps in my previous videos in this series. But even if you didn't, I think you will be fine. So feel free to continue. Log in to your Raspberry Pi from the command line. SSH Pi at the IP address of your Pi. For me, it was this password. Cool. And type sudo config. Okay, we were here before, but this time choose interface options. Camera, would you like the camera interface to be enabled? Of course, I want to. Yes, please. Okay, it's enabled. Finish. Would you like to reboot now? Oh, yeah, why not? Takes a few seconds. Okay, log back in. Cool, I clear my screen and it should work now. So the very last step is to create your first photo. There is a command line command for that, so you don't even have to go to Python for creating photos on a Raspberry Pi. The command is raspi still. If you hit enter, it won't take a photo, but it will show you all the options. And there are quite a few options for this command. I will use only one for my photo. This one is required. Clear my screen again. And the option is Raspi still dash O, like output. 
and then I will have to define the output folder, which in this case will be my main folder, slash home, slash pi, and the name of the photo, my first photo.jpg. Cool, it takes a few seconds list the directory and there is my first photo.jpg. The only bad thing about it is that since I use my Raspberry Pi exclusively from the command line, there is no way that I check this image on my Raspberry. If you have a display attached to your Pi, you are in a better position. But for me, I will have to first copy this JPEG file to my Mac so I go to my desktop folder on my Mac and clear my screen and I want to copy a file from here pi at my pi's IP address and the files called my first photo.jpg and I want to put it here my first photo.jpg password Let's copy it to my desktop and there it is. There is my first image. I will add one more thing here. The resolution, which can be done with the width option, dash W, 2000 and the height, dash H, 1500. One more photo. Okay, it's done. I copy that to my desktop again. Check it out again. Okay, it's the same photo, a bit smaller. But other than that, it looks good. Well, except one thing, the focus. For my surprise, the camera comes without an autofocus function. Well, it was a surprise for me only because I'm spoiled with my smartphone camera, but in fact, it seems logical. Anyways, after setting the camera to photo the plants, I realized I had to adjust the camera focus. And that's the thing in the case of the Raspberry camera. If you want to adjust the camera focus, you will have to do that manually. Well, one would say that you have to get professional tools for that, like a pair of pliers, but in fact, if you are an experienced enough Chinese food consumer, you will be able to do this with these food sticks. Cool, okay, obviously it's a bit annoying to do this manually because every time you adjust the focus, you will have to try it out, but after a few try, it will be just right. Okay, here is one last additional step in the command line. I want to add this photo command that I have just used before to my automations. And I actually want to create a master script for all the automations I will create in the future. So I will just copy this. Cool. And I will create a master automations or automation.sh script in mcedit or you can do this in sublime if you set up sublime and I will add this one line here well with a shebang at the beginning of course and I will just save this I will uh, no first I will give it the right privileges chmod 777 master automation.sh and then I will add this to my Chrome tab file just like I have done it before and I want to run this script in every minute and the script is located in the home by folder and it's called master underscore automation.sh enter Cool, so with that I get the image of my strawberry and it automatically refreshes every minute with a new photo. Save. And a quick comment here, after recording this video, I actually published this file, the myfirstphoto.jpg, that refreshes in every minute, to a web server, so I can watch this photo online on my phone from anywhere in the world, 
so I can check the current state of my strawberry even if I'm not here in the office. I won't show you the web server part in this video because that's a bit beyond the scope of it, but you might want to Google how to install Nginx, or you know what, I will actually add a link to a cool tutorial in the description. Anyways, this is it. I showed you how to set up a Raspberry camera, how to create your first photo, and how to set the focus on the camera. And with that being said, this is the end of this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, leave a like or a comment, and don't forget to check out the other episodes of this Automated Gardener project series. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter at data36.com slash newsletter. This is the only place where I really communicate to my audience right now, so this is where you can get notified about new content as well. And if you do subscribe, you will get access to a lot of free data science learning materials too, like a Python cheat sheet, an SQL cheat sheet, or a free mini course called How to Become a Data Scientist. Thank you for watching, I'm Tommy Master from data36.com, see you in the next video.